So in this video, I'm just going to go over a bit about how um, Express handles errors and uh, particularly how it handles uh, or doesn't handle asynchronous errors and certainly doesn't handle it in the way that we would, uh, that I think many people would intuitively expect it to handle it. Um, so Express uh, is obviously a very, very popular uh, framework for building web applications or library for building uh, web applications. Um, there's other alternatives, but Express is still very popular, um, and it's still uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff kind of yeah, it's big big ecosystem there, and uh, I think some people are kind of surprised that it doesn't handle uh, asynchronous errors um, uh, straight out the box uh, without any kind of um, uh, tweaks. So. Um, yeah, I'm just going to demonstrate that here, and by way of comparison, I'm going to show uh, Fastify as an alternative to Express, just to show that there are other applications that, or other libraries that, that do uh, handle asynchronous errors uh, the way I think we perhaps expect Express to to handle them. Um, it just in terms of the, the why I think Express has kind of got a bit left behind there. We're obviously still using Express 4, which has been around for a long time now. Uh, maybe doesn't get as many updates as it could do. Uh, and Express 5, which does handle asynchronous errors uh, the way one would intuitively expect it to, uh, has obviously been around for years, but still hasn't managed to kind of get uh, uh, to, a, to a full release yet. So when Express 5 comes out, that will basically put this issue to bed. But until then, uh, we should be aware that Express doesn't handle asynchronous errors the way we uh, think it should. Um, in order to demonstrate this, I've got a little simple application here. Uh, so we're importing Express, we're creating an app, I've set a default port. At the end of this script, we're just setting it up to listen. I've got a couple of little um, scripts here that just handle the uncaught exceptions and unhandled rejections. Um, I've got a default error handler for Express. Um, and then uh, we'll come back to those create handlers in a moment. But I've got five routes defined here. One for no errors, one for synchronous error, one for an asynchronous error, and then two for uh, uh, just different promise variations. So just to demonstrate this working, um, just come here, I'll just run uh, Express, so that, that's, that's running there. Um, we'll come over to the browser and I will run that with no errors. So we can see there that just runs and it loads and there's no errors, so that appears to be fine. I think that's kind of what we'd expect it to do. So if we look at what happens with a sync error, so uh, you can kind of have a little kind of guess before I run it, what you think will happen when I when I run that. Um, and we can see there that we get the text back to the browser error, synchronous error, and we get the default error handler error, synchronous error. So that means that you know, we've run this code, uh, the error has been thrown, and it's dropped down to this here, this default error handler. Uh, it's executed that and logged that, and then it's returned that to the browser. So that's kind of what we'd expect. It's what I would expect the sync error to, to do there. Uh, where things get interesting, i to clear that, is when we go to the async error. So if we go there and run that, uh, now we you'll notice that the browser, we haven't got a response yet, so we're still kind of hanging here. And what we've got over here is an unhandled rejection. Uh, so unhandled rejection error, asynchronous error. Uh, so that has, from there, it's thrown that, it's, kind of, it's bypassed, it's ignored, that hasn't triggered the default error handler, and instead we've been caught down here. Um, now that's bad news. That's bad news because that means that the... The error here has meant that this, this connection is uh, just basically just hanging. Uh, and what we want when an error happens, we want that to be handled uh, gracefully. We should return something back to the browser, even if it's a 500 error to say, you know, something's, something has gone kind of horrendously wrong or, or whatever. But the, the, the situation here where the, where the browser is hanging, this is, this is not what we want. Um, and this is not, uh, and, and uh, Express has not handled this, this error. Um, so we can, let's try the promise reject, um, and again you can have a guess here about what may happen when we run this, you know, will it handle it correctly or not, and the answer is uh, it doesn't handle it correctly. So again we've come down to this unhandled rejection, so we're down, we're down here, these are the Node.js uh, kind of um, processes, this is not Express that's doing this, this is Node.js. Um, so that's um, that's not 
not where we want to be. We want our errors to be to be handled here. We don't want it to end up down here. Um, so, yeah, again, that's 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 kind of bad bad news. And then lastly, uh, the um, async uh, promise reject is just basically the same promise rejection, but we're now uh, labeling the uh, the function as, as asynchronous, and so we can have a guess at what will happen there. And in fact, it's exactly the same as it was before. We are we are kind of doing the async promise rejected um, there, which is the text from from there, and that's unhandled. Um, so that's that's Express. That's basically your your Express kind of error handling for both synchronous and asynchronous errors. Now there are. Um, a couple of kind of uh, patterns I would suggest to to kind of you know to to, to kind of uh, deal with this, uh, and that's basically to kind of create a wrapper for our our handler. So rather than just passing this this handler into, so basically what we want to be able to do is wrap a try catch uh, around our our kind of handler code, and uh, and in the catch we want to be calling next. So but the, the the key thing is rather than just throwing an error. Uh, or throwing an asynchronous error, rejecting a promise, we actually need to be calling next with that error. And if it's a synchronous error, then Express manages to do that itself. But if it's asynchronous, then it doesn't, so we need to catch it and kind of manually kind of pass that to next. And we can do that in one of, one of two ways. Um, so I've got this first one here. Uh, you can see that basically I've got this little function called uh, create a handler, it takes a path and a function, um, we then uh, configure Express with that path and a function that has the re uh, um, the request, the response, and the next function. We call our handler with the uh, request, response, and next, and we then just add a dot .catch on the end of that. So we're using the promise dot .catch, and we're then calling next as the function, and it will get called with the with the error that comes back from that. Uh, so we can then do something. We can do something like this: create a handler, give it a path, and then define our um, our handler as we would normally. Uh, and we can see here this is this is async, uh, and we're throwing the error. So this is pretty much exactly the same as the one we've got up here. Um, uh, which that one was unhandled, so that so we can sort of see what happens when we when we run this one uh, from from here. Uh, so again, we clear that. And if we run that, then we can see that we the the, the, the uh, connection kind of like completes as expected. We get error wrapped async error, and we're back to the default error handler. Um, so this this is basically that little function that using that little function there, and then basically using that to create handlers rather than just uh, going straight to app dot get. Um, this enables us to uh, define um, that function and have the error. Uh, caught and handled uh, correctly, even though this is an asynchronous function, uh, and and, uh, and in in here we could still have the kind of request uh, a request and response object. Uh, the only reason I haven't kind of uh, got them in there is because I'm not not using them within our, within this particular handler because all it's doing is throwing an error. Um, the other way is pretty much the same as the one above, but it's just a little more um, I guess a little more in there, and it's, and it's using the uh, try try catch. Uh, so rather than doing the uh, calling the function and then just doing the dot catch on the end of it, where we've kind of wrapped our uh, handler, we're awaiting that. We've marked the the handler here as async. We're awaiting that. We've got it inside a try, and we're then catching the error and we're passing that to next. So I guess you could say this is a little bit kind of neater. It's a little bit kind of shorter and stuff. So um, usually I prefer to do a sort of try try catch rather than the than the uh, just the dot catch, but. Uh, for for brevity here, this one is is quite neat, um, but we can see if I just take that one, uh, come back to here and here, and just add that on the end of there. That uh, this should work in the same way. Is that working in the same way? Just, oh yes, yeah, it is. Let me just clear that screen again and do that again just to show you. Um, there you go. Default error handler wrapped async error two. Um, so both those ways, kind of both that little function and that little function, they're in the same thing. And then we've got a create handler there and create handler too. So you use them in exactly the same way. It's just the actual um, implementation of that kind of little little wrapper function that um, that differs. Uh, and that that is how uh, I think that I think 
as far as I'm aware, the sort of standard pattern for uh, kind of getting uh, um, Express 4 to handle asynchronous errors. If we look at Fastify, so we've got the same thing here, importing Fastify. Uh, I've got a few, same, same routes set up. Uh, in fact, I don't even need that route there, get rid of that. Uh, I've got my no error routes here, I've got a sync error, I've got an async error, and I've got a promise reject and an async promise reject. Uh, we've got the Fastify default error handler, and then we've got the actual setup of the Fastify function. Uh, notice that the um, uh, setting up the Fastify is asynchronous, so the listen operation is, is asynchronous. Um, yeah, so that's, that's a, a few little things kind of going on there. Um, so, come back to here, quit that, let's fastify, let's get that running, clear that, let's go back to here, and we should be able to see for start off, if we go to no error, uh, we get the thing back with no error, exactly as we'd expect. If we go to uh, sync error, uh, we get our uh, set error handler error, synchronous error, so that's the default error handler. Um, if we go to async error, we get our set error handler, asynchronous error, so that again is being handled by the default error handler. If we go to, let me clear that, uh, go to uh, promise reject, uh, we get error undefined, that's just because of what's been passed there, but if we go to here, we'll see set error handler, promise rejected. So again, it's our default error handler is handling that. And if we go and just add in the async uh, promise reject there, again, it's the same thing, uh, set error handler, async promise rejected. Um, so we've not had to do anything diff anything fancy. We've not had to do any little magic to kind of get around it. Fastify just kind of supports the, the async uh, errors uh, straight out the box, exactly as you would expect it to work. And I think the, the, the challenge some people have is they expect Express to behave uh, like this, and it doesn't. Um, and hopefully this demo uh, helps to uh, show why. Um, other, um, I don't know how Koa uh, handles it, um, but I know that Happy... Uh, also handles all the ace I'm fairly certain that handles async errors again the way you would expect them to be to be handled uh, So it's just express possibly just just because of the the age of express 4 uh, that doesn't um, Doesn't behave quite the way you'd expect it to behave That's it. Hope that helps